what have you brought in? I'd like to show you some uh, sketches used in a book. These were used in a version of Alice in Wonderland produced in 2007. These six are the original pencil sketches by the fantasy artist Robin Matthews. I just think they're wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I came to the pawn shop today with my original Alice in Wonderland sketches by Rodney Matthews. The artist gave me these sketches as payment for a product we worked on together. I'll be looking to get about 15,000 pounds, but I might consider as little as 10,000 pounds. Other than that, I'll hang on to them. They're, they'll appreciate the value. When Lewis Carroll wrote Alice in Wonderland... Well, what was going on in his mind? This was quite sinister in one respect. A very good story but very unusual. Yeah, it's like, how is it a kid's story if it's about the kid getting its head chopped off by the Queen? Well, that was, yeah, that was one of these. Not I really remember a kid's being story, very story, political. I, I didn't understand it when I, I was too young, perhaps. I, yeah. In fact, I still don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Carroll created Alice in Wonderland to keep three young girls entertained on a boat trip. And one of the girls, called Alice, was that transfixed with what he was talking about, little quips that he put in. She said, please write this down for me. In doing so, he created one of the most loved novels of all time. I just can't take it all in. These are the sketches that he produced for the book, and then he produced colour finals. And those colour finals were used to, to make the printing of the book. But those colour finals were actually sold to the uh, actor John Cleese. So all we have left is the pencil sketches, which he gave to me as payment for a project that we worked on together. I framed them, but they're as Rodney would have produced them. They're done on yeah. tissue paper, and you can see all the, uh, some cases, flaws and, and so forth. Yeah. That one's my favourite, the lobster. Oh, you like that, won't you? Yeah, it looks like it'll be tasty stewed up. <laughs> it's amazing. This is just pencil. It's pencil and tissue paper. Yeah. Bye, Jingo. The quality is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. The more I look at these sketches, the more I adore them. But the fact that they're on tracing paper, it just makes me a little bit suspicious. I'm going to call in a friend to make sure that they are originals. Obviously, you want to sell them. I, I'm, I would like to sell them as a set. Well, that's where authenticity. I know we've spoken about Rodney Matthews. I'd like to get my chap in, who does paintings, drawings, sketches. Um, I'd like him to have a look at them just to give me 100% possibility. Yes, these are definitely by him. Well, you, you could if you wanted to, but if you yeah. have any concern about it, I could bring Rodney Matthews here to authenticate them for you. The, the actual painter? Yes, he's a friend and, and, and colleague, and he doesn't live very far from here. Well, by Jingo, it's not every day that you actually meet the artist of the items. I, I'm just absolutely thrilled to bet he's coming in. So would but, they not be? Annoyed with you that you're selling them on him. He might. No, he, he'd be happy to come on. Oh, well, that's unbelievable. I know they may have their own art expert, but uh, probably the best person to authenticate him would be the artist himself. Since Rodney's a friend of mine, I'm going to bring him down.